Hey, welcome back everybody. Last week, we watched and listened to Job and his friend Curly having a conversation. Through that conversation, we learned that God had blessed Job with many animals and children. Let's check back in with them. Well, what's the matter, Curly? I got some bad news, Job. Bad news? I have a seat and tell me about it. There's been an accident. An accident? Well, what kind of accident? You might want to sit down for this. Curly, I am sitting down. So are you. Oh, right, right. Well, see, I was walking along in the house when all of a sudden I tripped over my other foot. Or maybe it was a rat. It kind of looked like a rat. It was hairy and, and it had like a, some teeth on it. Curly, Curly, you know what you're talking about. Well, let me, let me keep going here. After that, I hit my elbow right into the door. That's smart. So or, I know. Or maybe the door hit my elbow. Hey, that can't happen. Well, after that, my head hit the hit the hit the shelf. Wait a second. Or maybe the shelf hit my head. That house is after me. <laughs> Curly, uh, are you telling me that the accident is how clumsy you are? Well, not exactly. Well, see, it gets even worse. After that, I knocked all the donkey milk down from the shelf. It all splattered and splattered all over the floor, which means, which means we're not going to have any more donkey ice cream for a very, very long time. That, that is a shame, huh? That's <laughs> terrible, huh? Curly, it's all right. It's, uh, it's you know what? It really ain't that terrible. It isn't. I think I think we'll be all right. We will? Well, what are we going to eat then? Well, we'll get that rat. Rat? Can we make ice cream out of a rat? No, Curly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not sure if that really happened, but I suppose it could have. What we do know is this next part of the story is real. It really did happen, and we know because it's in the Bible. One day, God and Satan were having a conversation about our friend Job. God told Satan that Job was a blameless and upright man who feared God and turned away from evil. Satan replied, well, of course he does. Look at all you've given him. He only honors and respects you because you've made him rich. Take away everything he has, and he will curse you to your face. God allowed Satan to take away his possessions, but he stopped him from hurting Job. God believed that Job would continue to show him honor and respect. Let's check back in with Job and Curly, and we'll see what happens next. Well, what's the matter, Curly? Well, Job, I got some bad, bad news. Why, is it real bad news? Yeah, it's terrible news. Uh, let's have a seat and tell me about it. Well, there was this gang of wild outlaws that attacked. Wild outlaws? Why did you call the sheriff? Well, it's too late. They took all your donkeys. They took all your oxen. All my donkeys and oxen? That is terrible. Well, I reckon I'll just have to buy some more, though. Well, it's worse, Job. They also killed all your workers. All my donkeys and oxen are gone, and you're telling me that they killed all my servants? Well, yeah. Curly, many of those guys was my friends. I That's know. terrible news, just terrible. I'm sorry, Job. I'm uh, really sorry. Uh, I tell you what, it ain't your fault. It ain't your fault at all. No, I just have to rest in knowing that God is in control, and I will praise his holy name. That's what I'll do. Now, you go on. I'll be all right. Well, Curly? Yeah, Job? I said you could get on with it. Well, Job, there's more bad news. More bad news? Well, go ahead, spit it out. Well, there was that a storm last night. You may have heard it. I did. I heard that storm. It was a terrible storm. Kept me up half the night. Well, I haven't seen a storm come through these parts in many a year. Well, that storm had a lot of lightning, and that lightning killed all your sheep 
and all the shepherds who were taking care of them. What? My donkeys and oxen and my sheep and all my servants that were with them? That's terrible. It's such a calamity. That's, that's more than I can hardly take. Curly, you're going you're gonna to have to give me some time to process all this and grieve a little bit over those men. I, I, I just need some time alone. You, you can go on. Oh, 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 Curly. Joe. I, I said you could go on. Well, I got some more bad news. More bad news? Yeah. Well, what is it? Well, there was another wild gang of outlaws, and they, they took all your camels. All my camels? Don't tell me they got my servants, too. Yeah, they took all your servants, killed all of them. All my animals and my servants are gone? Yeah. Oh. I just don't know if I can take any more. It's terrible news. Joe? Yes, Curly? Well, I hate to be the one to tell you this. What, what is it? I hope it's good news, because I can't take any more bad. No, no, Job, it's terrible. That storm also, that storm also took out, took out your entire roof of your son's house, and they were having a party. All your children were in it, and they all died, Job. They all died. Curly, you telling me that all ten of my children are gone? Every one of them? Oh, this is terrible, Curly. Oh, I came into this world with nothing, and I shall leave it with nothing. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Wow. You know, through all of this, Job did not sin, nor did he blame God as Satan expected him to. You'd think this would be the end, wouldn't you? There's a lot more that happens in Job's life. Come back next week to see if Job remains faithful, even when things get worse.